I was scared. How was I going to find enough time throughout my day, throughout my week to spend on setting just the MCAT? Hello, my name is Haynes Graff, and in today's video, we'll be walking through my top tips for how to study for the MCAT during the school year. Let's begin. So I began to study for the MCAT during the fall of my junior year, and I was taking biochemistry as well as physiology and a couple other difficult courses. So I started to plan how I was going to incorporate my MCAT studies on top of all the studying I was already doing for my classes. And so over the course of the semester, I really struggled with that, but I found a couple of tips that really helped me stay grounded and develop a schedule that overall led to my MCAT success. So my first tip is to schedule out your days hour by hour, not by a to-do list or activities needed to be done or what you need to study, but to get an hour by hour planner, and these can be found online or you can make your own Excel spreadsheet to write out what you're gonna be doing each hour of the day. For example, I would write down when my meals were, when my classes were, and when I had social activities, when I had other extracurriculars. And then most importantly, I would find specific blocks throughout my day for when I could focus on studying and doing coursework for my classes as well as studying and doing work for my MCAT prep. So by breaking your day down hour by hour, it really holds you accountable for what you wrote down to do during that time period. And so if I had written down, okay, I'm gonna do Anki flashcards for the next 30 minutes, and I'm gonna do that from 10.30 to 11. It would really hold me accountable to do those flashcards during that time period. Also, this technique helped me locate some gaps in my day. Maybe I had a 20 minute gap between lunch and my next class. How could I most effectively use this time? And so I started to locate those gaps in my schedule and turn these into mini MCAT study periods. So overall, I was giving about two hours a day to the MCAT on top of my daily studying and coursework for other classes. And this two hours a day, it seems like such a small amount, but over the course of a whole semester, these hours really built up and overall gave me kind of a good foundation to launch my next step of my MCAT process. Another key technique that I utilized during my short study periods was I wanted to stay really focused and not distracted in these study periods. And so I used what I'm gonna talk about in tip number two. And tip number two is what is called the Pomodoro Technique. And this is a very popular science bag technique that was developed to help students stay focused during study blocks. And so the Pomodoro Technique, it breaks up your study periods into times of pure focused work and then pure focused rest. And that's the most important part of this is that there's times of focused work and focused rest. And so a typical breakdown from a Pomodoro Technique is to do 25 minutes of focused work all by five minutes of focused rest. And so for me, this was a very helpful technique because during those 25 minutes, I was very focused. I was very involved with my work. I wasn't distracted. And during those five minute rest periods, I would get up from my desk, I would go on a walk, I would sometimes call friends, call family, and this would help me get my mind off my work and also help me stay energized and charged and motivated to continue on these Pomodoro schedulings. Now the Pomodoro technique is very effective, but it's only effective if it's done properly. And to do the Pomodoro technique properly, you really need to keep these 25 minute periods of studying and these five minute rest periods separate. So during your 25 minutes, I would really encourage you to remove any distractions from your environment. So for me, that was putting my phone in my backpack, making sure the only thing on my screen was whatever I was studying, or whether that was watching videos or doing Anki flashcards, whatever it was, was the only thing I was focused on at that time. And during those five minute rest periods, it was helpful for me to get up from my desk. And again, just kind of completely forget about my work. Just try to recharge, do something I like. I would go get a water, I would go get a snack, I'd just do these things that would keep me motivated to keep studying. Now, an important point about the Pomodoro technique is that other time frames work as well. Some students like a 25 by 5, like I did. Some students like a 35 by 7, or even a 50 by 10 minute breakdown. And one third tip that I'll give to add to these two other tips is that you really need to find the reason. You really need to remember the reason that you are studying for the MCAT. And so, a lot of students find it helpful to write down the reason that they are studying for the MCAT. Maybe putting it in their planner each day, maybe putting it on their laptop, wherever you can see it frequently throughout the day. Now, the more you focus on these external reasons that you're studying for the MCAT, and every student has really great reasons that they wanna go into medical school, they wanna have a career in research, they want to focus on others as much as possible. And these are great reasons. But the more you focus on these external reasons, it prevents you from having to stir up so much internal motivation. And so you should know this from your psych social studying, that you really wanna have internal stimulus to do things and not just external stimulus. So one thing that you can do right now to start implementing these techniques is to get an hour by hour planner and to write out everything that you need to do throughout the next couple of weeks, even down to the minute if that's helpful for you. And again, I'm Haynes Graff with MCAT Mastery. Thank you for watching this video today. I hope these tips were helpful. Be sure to check out other videos that can be found at mcatmastery.net.